everybody, and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Territorial Expansion. Last episode, we played as YV, who I thought was going to carry us to victory and finally killing that pit squid. All he did was fall at the hands of it like everyone else who has gotten there. I feel like our only hope lies in this parrot. This man right here, but not just any parrot. Blue parrot with a backpack. This boy is going to... He's going to save us. He's going to carry us to victory. He is going to do everything in his power to make sure we win. And you know what? I trust him. He he makes friends, not enemies. He is uh, he wants to be a pacifist, but in this world, you just can't be. You know? Look. Just like that. These guys no longer want to kill him. It's that he, just, he can just look at people and say, no, 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 stop. And it'll work. He turns enemies into friends whenever he pleases. He's the definition of a great guy. But you know what? This world doesn't have a place for a pacifist, okay? And Parrot, this Parrot here, he's going to have to learn to uh, to fight. Because without a gun in your hand, you are doomed in this game. And plus, you know, he's kind of... My goal for him is to kill a giant squid, so he can't really afford to be Mr. Nice Guy. He's got to he's gotta turn the squid against himself. Maybe he can, like, befriend tentacles, right? And he can befriend one of the squid's tentacles and make that squid tentacle shoot lasers at the other tentacles. That would be pretty sick. I guess we're gonna have to see when we get there. Um, oh, jerk. Hopefully, I can actually beat the squid this time. I'll be honest, I've been wrapping my head around it and I, I have a good feeling I'm just gonna die again. But I cannot think like that. Positive thoughts yield positive results, okay? You just gotta go in there telling yourself you'll kill the squid and the squid will die. I'm also gonna just stick some of them on each other and let them sort it out themselves because personally, Parrot didn't want to get involved there. Okay, Big Bandit, uh, you're mine. Alright, buddy. You, uh, wait there. No, actually, I want this guy. I'm gonna take care of Big Bandit. What I need this Big Bandit to do is not shoot that skull, because if he broke that skull, I'd be pretty pissed. Let's see. Alright. Currently a severe thunderstorm warning in my area. Good to know. Uh, I doubt it's going to be big enough to kill me, so personally, I'm not worried. However, if I lost power, I would be pretty pissed. I mean, I have a backup power supply for my computer, you know. I'm, I'm good on that end, but it's still just annoying. I don't think any of my shit's charged. I should probably charge it, but, you know, kind of in the middle of something. Okay, fish, can you just, like, hold up? Oh, he's still chasing. He's not even friendly. There's no point. Okay, squid. Uh, I'm just going to go. Uh, I don't know if it actually saved my life, but I feel like there's a chance... Hammerhead might have just saved my life there. Because I felt very scared and alone. And then Hammerhead just came in as my messiah and carried me to victory. Personally, I don't think I've ever felt more happy about having Hammerhead. Could this guy maybe stop swimming in circles around me? I would really appreciate if this fish would just kind of like not and just stay here and fight me for a little bit. Yeah, stay in the corner. That's right. Okay, uh, grenade launcher assault rifle it is. I wouldn't mind a boy lease right now. You know what? Strong Spear is just boilies, but for everything. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Okay, so now we got Strong Spirit. We got a nade launcher. We're gonna have two parrots. Everything's everything's coming up pretty good. Okay, so we have a red parrot and a blue parrot. I'm loving this. I don't think I want to get rid of my parrots. I don't really know how useful two parrots is in, com in comparison to, like, a parrot and a chunk, for instance, but... I don't know. It's pretty cool seeing the red parrot and the blue parrot. Makes me kind of happy. I might just have to stick with it. Screw these guys. And their little watchtower. Okay. Also, the chicken boys. I actually rarely even, like, register that they're a thing. But they're kind of annoying. Shooting you and stuff. I don't want that. You know? I, except they don't shoot you because it's kind of hard to shoot someone with a sword. I mean, I've done it, obviously. I'm, I'm the master at nuclear throwing off. I'll do whatever I need to. But it's still difficult. All right. Uh, low in ammo. That's a concern. Oh, I mean, that helps. We're about to go fight Seal King. Seal King, I'm not too worried about in terms of ammo, because typically, just due to the sheer quantity of enemies he spawns, ammo doesn't really pose much of a threat. You're, like, bound to get some while you're killing them. I mean, like, it sucks not having assault rifle ammo right now, but I'm sure we'll get some. I'm very glad we picked up trigger fingers, because, uh... Having just a double shotgun with no trigger fingers would have been pretty much hell, but we've got that solved already. We have some ammo in our assault rifle, some in our... Oh, that's actually... I'd say that's better. I do love a bounce of shotgun. 
Not too great for this level, but I think it's worth using for the boss fight just because of the uh, the crowds of enemies he spawns. It'll probably be better at dispersing them than the uh, assault rifle will be. Okay, yep, that's right. Oh yeah, this is... I, I always forget that there's the phase where uh, you have to kill all these guys before the Seal King even becomes vulnerable. I always forget that even exists. I want to just charge the guy and get him killed, but it never worked. Alright, that's right, dude. Kill him. Kill him for me. You got him. Dude, this guy is just going ham. Okay, now I'd like to kill you. Thank you. I feel like Parrot might be the biggest jerk of all, to be honest. I called him a pacifist earlier, but I don't even know how much of that is true. I mean, think about it. He does whatever he wants. He, he will befriend whoever and then turn on them the second he gets the chance. That's not very uh, pacifist-esque. Except I'm gonna just befriend the Seal King real quick so he can kill some of his own people. Yeah, he turns people against each other. And then once he's done with them, he just kills them. Okay, Parrot's kind of busted for this boss I'm learning. All you do is you attack the boss while you can. And the second anyone gets close, you turn them evil. And they will just... They just destroy themselves. Okay, Parrot... This man's kind of broken. I don't know if it was just that boss fight. I don't know what's happening. But he seems so much more busted than I ever remember him being. I will gladly take a rabbit paw and fill any health and ammo needs that I meet. Okay, let's... Uh, why don't we just make some friends? Okay, time to get out there. I actually don't think I want any friends. Because... You know what? That sounds fantastic. Uh, friends on this level are kind of dangerous. Just because... Uh, the fish are purple, and the outline for them, for me, is purple. Okay, I'm scared. Alright, so that means you can't really tell which fish are yours and which aren't. So you'll, like, get scared, see a fish, shoot him, and then you realize you focus all that time and energy on a fish that wasn't even an evil. Okay, Chunk, you're a great guy, but I want to roll double parrots. I just want to see how it feels. Just like that, only six minutes in, and we are back with no problem to this scary place that almost got me killed two seconds in. That's great. I gotta be more wary of the rad canisters, because I never pay them any attention, and they almost always try to kill me. Okay, thank you for all that ammo, Rabbit Paw. You've been very kind. We got Strong Spirit back. I'll be honest, didn't even know it was missing. Cluster Launcher, that is very... Well, that really sucked. Uh, honestly, could have used without that. But we do have a bonus spirit that I didn't even notice. So that's kind of... It's kind of acceptable, I guess. Uh, cluster launcher is only tempting because... Oh, dude, there was the octopus pet. I forgot he existed. That sucks. Oh, well. That, man, I kind of miss him. Uh, pickups give feathers could be really good late game. But these two are also really good. But we have rabbit paw, so we didn't need Pluto. We have birds. Uh, damn. If I see another octopus, I don't know if there is another one, but if I see one, I'm going to take it because we didn't need the birds and Pluto. The birds kind of, their best use is you don't need Pluto because they will go pick shit up for you. So you don't need to be close at all because they'll just do that and bring it to you. But now we have Pluto, so we got to roll with it. We, we aren't forced to stick with the parrots, but we are forced to stick with Pluto. So we'll just make it work. I mean, I guess this way we're going to miss, like, no pickups. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the fabled squid floor. Squid boy boss is on this floor. And, honestly, I, I hope we die before the boss. I'd rather die before the boss than on the boss. Because I have fought this boss so many times. You can easily get caught up in projectiles flying everywhere. Rad monsters coming at you. You know, that, that, that shit happens. But I've fought this boss so many times, I should be able to kill him by now. Okay, squiddy boy, you want to help me? Except you're not even a squid, but... Actually, I lied. Never mind, we're not friends. You can just go and die. Okay, gotta kill the eels. I'm scared. I don't like standing over the edge, because I know that's where a uh, pit squid is. I'm just gonna... Ow! Jerk. Okay. We're getting awfully close to the, uh... The moment of... Probably annihilation. If I had to be honest. Uh... I would love to think we're gonna live, but... Our best weapon right now is definitely the auto shotgun in terms of, uh... In terms of raw DPS. And the auto shotgun is kind of out of ammo. So what does that say for us? We have a laser pistol. No. He's coming. I don't want to fight him, guys. I don't want to fight him. I really don't. Where is my weapon chest? Was that the laser pistol? Is that how that existed? Honestly, I'd rather have a laser pistol with 
ammo in it than an assault rifle. I mean, a bouncer shot. Frick! With an, uh, I'm scared, guys. With an auto shotgun with no ammo. I just, I don't want to die to this stupid guy again. I want to get past him. I got to be more careful of the lasers. I still don't know what he looks like when he's about to shoot them is the problem. I never learned that last time. I was too focused on dodging lasers that I never learned what it looks like right before him. Okay, you know what? We're just... Okay, yep, sure. Whatever. This guy is just awful in terms of ammo. Oh, wait. Can't we just uh, befriend a tentacle, maybe? Okay, we have a friendly tentacle. Is it just going to go away? Gosh darn it. Okay, so the friend... So... It's not even really worth befriending the tentacles because they just kind of disappear. Okay. My goal now is just to get ammo for auto shotgun because I feel like auto shotgun's one of our best chances. Bullets, that's not an auto shotgun. Okay, that's kind of unfair. Whatever, pit squid. Think you can just like spawn tentacles right on top of me? Okay, I would love any ammo to drop to be honest. At this point, I'll settle for bullets. Okay. Okay, there's one of our strong spears. He just does so much damage when he hits you. Okay, this is tentacles. So they come straight out of his eyes, so just be careful. Okay. I'm gonna have to grab that laser pistol as soon as I can. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The pit squid has died? Hello? Uh, I honestly thought I was nowhere near... I felt like I had done no damage to him. Okay, Pit Squid's dead. We still have Strong Spirit. Uh, we're moving on. I don't know if there's any more Secret Force than that. I really don't. We're on 5-1 already, though. Okay, I don't like my loadout for 5-1. I'll take this Bubble Cannon, whatever this is, and hope it saves my life. Alright, Bubble Cannon, you're on my good side. Yep. Okay. Uh, I really, I'll be honest, guys. Did not expect to beat that squid, first of all. Second of all, was very confident I was about to die. Then Bubble Cannon popped in and saved my life. So, Bubble Cannon, now officially on my good side. It's one of my favorite weapons just because of that reason right there. Bubble Cannon is going to carry me as far as it has to. It is our Lord and Savior. Actually, no, let's be honest. The real Lord and Savior here is Parrot. Parrot just carried us through the squid fight. And now Parrot's getting sad because he has to take boilies. Um... Out of all these, I mean, we have trigger fingers. So log arms could be good, I guess. That's good reasoning enough in my head. Uh, we still have one more mutation. So if we see laser brain, I'm going to take it in hopes of an energy sword. That's kind of where my mind's at right now. I don't really know what else I would take or want right now. I'm chilling with my... I got rabbit paw, strong spirit, trigger fingers. All the stuff that I really typically want, I have right now. I don't have scarier face, that would be a good one, but this bubble can is kind of putting it work without scarier face, so I don't know if I even need it. The bubble can is great. At the same time, I guess you can't run into bullets, you know? It's a good weapon, but it's not going to make you invincible. Uh, somehow, the crown bolt remains intact, but I don't think that's going to stay that way for too long. Just because we have a bouncing weapon, so there's not... Oh, and there it goes. 2 HP. Let's break this crown bolt before it actually opens. And it opened. Well, I guess we're going. Gotta go, boys. Sorry. I don't even know what that was. Heavy machine gun, maybe? Okay. Crown bolt. Cool. I'm not gonna take a crown, guys. I don't think there's any crowns I really want. If crown of crimes here, I might take it, but that's a big might. Only because last time I put it in the title and didn't really use it. Um... Okay, we're doing this for the extra mutation. We only have one more mutation anyway. I think it's going to choose our ultra for us, and that sucks and all, but, like, whatever. Parrot has a very good ultra, and then he has his other one that I don't even know what it is. And that shows you how good it is. Okay, I shot a bubble cannon directly on the hunter, and the man is still alive, so I really don't know what happened. Okay, just died. Just died, dude. Just died. Just died. There's too much going on. I want it to stop, but I need him to die first. Okay. Okay. That, that guy got a cheeky shot right at the end. I wasn't happy with that. Little Hunter is dead and dusted. No problem. I just heard that disc gun wreak havoc. Okay. Uh, blowy up boy. Not a fan. Okay. I'm the blowy up boy now, motherfucker. Just try to stop me. Don't actually, though, because you'll probably succeed. 
I don't think bubble explosions hurt me, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm just running into them. Yes, I have boilies, but it's still not smart to run into explosions because of the whole, you know, you'd still take damage thing. Okay, back to full HP. Little Hunter's dead. We're level 9 almost before the lab, so that shows you that the old path definitely is harder in its own way because clearly we had to either fight more enemies or they just drop more rads, and if they're dropping more rads, odds are they're pretty difficult, you know? So, the goal here now is to not die. Very simple. I know. Simple on paper. I don't know how actually simple it's going to be. This place does have a lot of explosions, but I'm not too worried. I kind of just want to get in and get out because uh, the longer we let these Technomancers spawn things, the harder it's going to get. So, even though there's explosions, I know I'll take damage, but I'd rather take the damage and kill the enemies. Also, Bubble Cannon kind of locks in on the enemy and chases it. You freaking other one died for me, you idiot. Oh, hello, turret. So, Bubble Cannon, I know I keep complimenting it, but the Bubble Cannon is just like OP. Bubble Cannon seems great. I've never really been a big fan of the other bubble weapons, but maybe I just haven't given them, like, a fair chance. I will take Eraser over uh, Bullet Shotgun or whatever, because Bouncer Shotgun, because personally, uh, I'm tired of it. Also, we have three strong spirits, and I love how that looks. Like, we are more than just an angel at this point. This is what I mean by Parrot's the Messiah. Look at him. He's got his You Are Number One statue following around as a constant reminder that he is the best. And he's got his two parrot followers to remind him that, you know, even though he's the best, he's not the only one that matters. It's a team effort. Bloodlust, I will gladly take that. I think Crown of Destiny, it got, we got Bloodlust, which is probably something I would have taken anyway. What is that thing? I've never seen it before in my life. Uh, die, please? It's dead. I'm not scared. I'm still scared, kind of, because there might be another one, but I'm just glad it's dead. Uh, but yeah, I'm scared. Crown of Destiny was good. Uh, we got Lucky Shot, so ammo is even less of a problem than it would have been otherwise. And we got Bloodlust, so... it's. I think overall, Crown of Destiny worked out. It doesn't always work out, so I'm glad it did. I, it just seemed like the right call to the amount of, uh, like, the level we already were. I'm, you're never level 8 by then. Apparently, if you take the alt path, you are, but on a normal run, you never are. It's, you know, typically, even if you're like, I want it. You know what? We're going to go Gatling. Zoop, zoop. Oh, but Bubble Cannon. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm not going to put down Bubble Cannon, obviously. Uh, but Eraser, I I don't know. I think I just need Scarier Face. It, it, I thought it would be better than it is right now. Gatling. Zoop. All right. Too many dogs for my liking, and that's literally one is too many, so the second you see more than one, you know I'm terrified. Um, I don't think I lost a strong spirit to that dog. Honestly, very confused. Level Ultra already, I don't think we get to choose our Ultra Mutation, which, you know, it sucks, but that's, that's just the path we chose. It's, it's a 50-50 to get what we want anyway. I don't know what the second one does, but I know one of them makes it so you share HP with the mobs you take, so if you take a mob with 3,000 HP, as long as it's under your control, it's your, like you have that much health. Okay, you know what? Well, Eraser is great and all. We're gonna take Wave Gun. I think it has more like crowd clearing capabilities, and I'm a big fan of that. Okay, level Ultra Throne Fight. What do we get? Increased feather output. So I guess you just shoot more feathers. I that's probably pretty good. Uh, you might want Throne Butt for this, though, because if, if uh, you're going to be shooting more feathers, I don't know if that's going to use more feathers, but if it does, Throne Butt would definitely be good. It sucks not having the uh, the shared health mutation, but whatever. I'm sure we can get far without it. But let's see, though. I mean, we might not even make it past the Throne Fight. Let's be honest. I can't can't make any promises here. I'm not... I know earlier, I think I said I'm the best nuclear drone player. That was a lie. I am not. I'm not very good at this game. Uh, I'm pretty good. Like, I'm not bad at the game by any means, but I've not been playing much recently, which does not add to the fact that, ooh, I never was the best. Okay, you can go. And I still, I've always, and to this day, I, I just suck at the throne fight. It's just not my forte. I love the throne fight. I think it's a really cool fight. I think it's super well made, but I am not good at it. I can do it pretty well when you're not breaking the generators, because then you just, like, you know, you kill him before he has a chance to do anything stupid. But the generators just make... Oh, except Bubble Cannon. What? <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting Bubble Cannon? Because, you know, if you think something's hard, you should bring a Bubble Cannon to it. And then that happens. But when I started shooting the Bubble Cannon, he literally couldn't do anything. 
Bubble Cannon, I'm glad you had your time to shine. I'm very glad. Because now whenever I see it, I'll, I'll be able to think, oh my god, it's the Bubble Cannon, and not just, like, completely overlook it. So what is this? It says Toxic, I will not touch it. That is the rule. Is that a perfect shot? No, we gotta shoot, like, this far ahead, right? Except he turned around. He juked us. He juked me again. This man is the master of jukes. Oh, wait, Bubble Cannon can be used for something else, right? Yeah. Save me, Bubble Cannon. Bubble Cannon's definitely interesting. Uh, I, I like it a lot. It's obviously really good, but on top of that, the bubbles just work in such an interesting way with, uh, like, taking in the projectiles. It's really cool. Okay. The goal is for you to die, mister. Oh, he's going back to my bubbles. The idiot. He had no idea. He was like, oh, it's just a bubble. I can go right through that. And then, bam, the bubble killed him. Going in big. Big town? Yes, we are. We're going in bigger than you could imagine. Alright, this one's for you. I'll make it all the way to loop 15 or whatever the freaking record is nowadays. Probably more than that. The throne community is crazy. Okay, wave gun actually seems like phenomenal. Except I'm not doing great right now and I'd like to hide. Probably forever. Uh, we're just gonna do this. Oh, my cover. My cover has been blown. Oh, I have one thing to cover. I'm not liking this. We're just gonna... You need to die. You definitely need to die. So I went in a little too big. Uh, is, is the... That's what I have diagnosed. Net launcher, I believe it is due to garbage. Bop. Yeah, you can just blow up, my friend. Oh, van time. We're gonna blow up as much as we can. Try to get these boys dead. We do not have strong spirit. Which is a big problem. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I just got a text that the food I ordered was here. And I think that's pretty funny, because uh, I went outside and there was no food. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe they put it in the back door. You go check the back door, and I uh, still no food. So I checked the app, and uh, guess what? They didn't, they delivered it to the wrong house. And I texted them saying that. However, they did not reply. So... Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to contact the app, customer service or whatever, try to get my money back. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty dumb. I looked at the app and I'm like, because I, I put my address in and my, uh, I'm not even gonna give away my street number, but let's say my street number was seven, okay? Uh, I, I put seven, I checked the app, it still says seven, and uh, the house they delivered to definitely did not say seven. Well, actually, I don't even know if they might have, to be honest, but uh, it, it was, they got the right street, I think, but I don't even know which house that is, so, you know. Cool guy. I mean, they tried. I'll give them that. You know, they sure did try. Ouch. That was rough. Uh, we might be boned because of that one hit. Actually, you know what? Nah. I'm fine. What am I, who am I kidding? I'm a god. We mentioned it earlier. I can, I can do this. Sure, I mean, I've never actually gotten to loop 2 with Crown of Blood before, but there's a first time for everything, you know? Okay. So all we're gonna do is set up a wall of bubbles, and then how is anything supposed to kill me, right? I mean, it's working so far. I can't really process what's going on. Uh, I gotta go. Okay, I survived with my strong spirit intact. However, there's still, there's an elite shield around and about. Not too happy about that one. There's still a big bandit, I believe. Yep, let's get rid of him, hopefully. Come on, big bandit. That's right, that's right, idiot. Elite shielder, you're next. Wait, there's another one? Are there four big bandits this level? I have no clue. Thought there were two, I could definitely be wrong. Okay. Okay, okay, we still have strong spirit and everything. We're chilling. All the hard parts are over with. Just don't die. It's that easy. Just gonna go in here. Kill these guys. I think we're safe for now. Super lightning launcher. 
I definitely like that. However, I need a, uh, I can't, I need to keep bubble cannon just because that's kind of like my whole thing right now. Do we have homing bolts? We do not. That sucks. Um, I think right now my best option is still probably just to stick with wave gun because wave gun was doing really good at clearing things out. My food has been rightfully returned to me. Thank God. Uh, so we're good on that front. I it said it was going to take a lot longer to come than it uh, ended up taking, so that's why I ended up coming and recording. Plus, honestly, I didn't expect to live this long. Uh, my plan was to die pretty quickly, like always. And I guess you know what? That might have that might be right now. Just shoot bubbles. Just shoot bubbles and pray. Bubbles can save you. If you have a problem, shoot a bubble. There are a lot of fireballers that I see. And not a lot of them dying. A lot of buff gators, a lot of fireballers. A lot of things I don't like. We're just gonna go up here. Look. I'm just, ah, now there's a that man. Okay, this guy needs to go. Okay, that needs to go, actually. I'm talking about things that need to go. Like, go home, mister. Oh, there's mom. Hi, mom. I'm, I uh, would like if you weren't here. To be a real mom, if you could just go and like be anywhere else, I'd be completely content with that. Alright, Mom. I think you're gonna die rather quick, though. I'm not too scared of you right now. I think combined with the bubbles, like, sealing her projectiles and just the raw damage they do, on top of the wave gun also shooting her, yeah, I, that's exactly what I was gonna say. She's gonna die roughly that fast. Okay, we might actually... I mean, I don't wanna jinx it. This would be a sad place to die if I jinx this. No, in fact, I'm gonna stop talking until, uh... Until a little bit more time has passed. Okay. We need some team to calm down a little bit. We got a shielder down there. Okay, no. A couple rats that are charging me. That's always fun. Always welcome. Hello, fireballer. Another rat. I think we're actually going to pass the uh, the sewers. I don't, I, I don't get this far on average. I'm proud of this run. Okay, you can't make me feel any less proud about it. We're going to go to the pizza sewers because there's actually a new boss in the pizza sewers. And I would rather... Go there and die to the new boss in there. I'm going to show you guys something cool. I know I've showed it off before, but let's be honest. That was like six months ago or something stupid. So it's been quite some time. Uh, I'd like to go there and show up that place in loop, which I've never even seen. I didn't think I could make it that far in loop. Then uh, just die in like 3-3 or whatever, you know? Hello, IDP. Nah, never mind. Go away. No, he knew. He knew to run. He's smart. He's a genius. And still alive. The level's open, but the shield is still alive, so we can't go yet. Okay. Getting a little bit of a uh, FPS issue now that this uh, door's open. It is a mod. Nuclear Throne's never been the most optimized game, in my opinion. Uh, you know, it's always had its issues, and modding it just makes that worse. Okay, so I've learned all this is going to be is a ton of turrets. YV mentioned that uh, a lot of things. A lot of things I don't like is, is basically the point. A lot of tight corners with enemies that shoot toxic stuff and blow you up. I'm gonna go now. Just kidding. Okay. Hype. Kill these boys. I think... We're gonna die. I was actually just about to say the exact opposite sentence and say I think we're gonna do this. But that has quickly proven itself not to be true. Uh, I don't know what to do about that noise I heard. Okay. Suck them up. Suck them up. This scares me, because enemies can teleport through those. No, you can go away. No, you can go away, too. Yeah. No, you can go. We're fine. I don't need you. Health? Health immediately dies. Okay, well, that was a fantastic run anyway, guys. I mean, that was a 28-minute long run. I know I had a couple times where I had to pause there, and I got to, you know, cut those out, because that was too long. But whatever. The point is, I got my food... We got to the pizza sewers on loop one with 1,500 kills as a parrot with two parrots and crown of blood. I am proud of this run. I'm proud of Destiny, too, limiting our mutation choices at the end, not giving us the good ultra mutation. I think overall, this run is showing that I am getting back on my feet. I am not quite back to where I was before, because I, I did used to be pretty good in this, at least consistently getting to loop two every time, but, you know, things have changed. Uh, I haven't played in months. Uh, it's just a lot. Nuclear Throne used to be my number one game on Steam, and now it's been taken over by Terraria. Like, 
Nuclear Throne has fallen off, but the goal here is to bring it back, to get good at Nuclear Throne again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a longer episode than usual, and the goal is actually to see these episodes get longer and longer over time. So, uh, I hope you guys are ready for that, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye.